Good morning, 47. Your target is Perti Janefeld, bookkeeper to the global underworld and considered to be a criminal myth by law enforcement agencies the world over. In truth, the target has led an unassuming yet comfortable life, managing the finances of kleptocracies, terrorists and tyrants for decades. The client, Loxley, has assembled information on the target's movements and conclusively linked him to the shadow client's operations in Colorado. This makes his elimination a priority. The client has also requested that you retrieve the target's ledger. Note that the target is extremely paranoid and will attempt to flee at the first sign of overt danger. Plan accordingly. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up, Freeze Army? Welcome to the Elusive Titan number 22, the bookkeeper. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. We're going to get the Silent Assassin rating for this, of course. And uh, what you're going to need for this one is your Krugermeyer, your remote breaching charge, your lockpick. I'm going to start undercover as the demolition uh, expert, you know, the explosive specialists. I'm going to start in that location. And uh, we're good to go. So as soon as the level loads up, make sure you skip the opening panning shots. That is quite important. And uh, once you've done that, you're going to go quickly get into the shed and grab the propane tank. Unfortunately, it is going to be a propane tank breach charge technique. It's unfortunate because it's this is very, very limiting. He's surrounded by four guards and there's no opportunities other than explosions to kill this guy. So this is the way I found it to do it consistently. So as soon as the target here approaches the back wheel, that is when we're going to uh, drop the uh, propane tank and the breach charge uh, right on the front wheel. And that's when we're going to explode it straight away. You should get the explosion kill and the accident kill there. And we're also going to grab this disguise right here to get inside the house. We're going to climb over the fence to get inside the house to avoid the camera. And we're actually going to take out the camera. So, um, just before I carry on with this, if you did not kill the target there, just restart. Um, if it doesn't say explosion kill at the top, then just restart. Um, if you manage to take out a non-target, just disconnect your internet, you should be able to replay the loser target, no problem. So what we've actually done here is turned off this server to uh, distract the hacker that's just over here. I'm going to pull out a Krugermeyer, switch the cameras and just shoot the evidence right there. That is just in case you, uh, you, you, know, you get spotted by the cameras or something like that. So what we're going to need to do now is go and grab the ledger. It's going to be in Sean Rose's room. And you need to watch out for the enforcer that's across this land and he is, um, you know, patrolling the area but he is an enforcer to this disguise so you just need to watch out for him so we're just going to go through the bathroom here using the lockpick I'm going to use the lockpick in the safe as well there's going to be an enforcer inside this room but uh, most of the time he has his back to you but just make sure you watch out for him and uh, once you grab the ledger we can head straight to the exit we're actually going to take the exit just outside where the two guards are facing the fence that's where we're going to go Alternatively, if you want to, um, you can grab the mask, Sean Rose's mask, and head through the tornado shadow. It's completely up to you, but uh, I think it's a lot better and faster to head to this exit. Now, you'll see the suspicion bar there at the bottom, and that's because of the uh, the enforcer that was on the top. Um, if you want to be super safe, just make sure he's got his back turned before you exit the main door, just in case he might spot you there. But that's going to do it for this one. This is the Silent Assassin rating for the Lucid Titan number 22. Hopefully this has helped you out. I've tried to do it the best I can. Um, that was a repeatable method I found. And this is what kept, this is what granted me at the end of this. I did get the Silent Assassin rating, but for some reason it just didn't show up on the screen. So the way to confirm that I got it was I checked the leaderboard. And it will show my rating just there. I got number 2 in the world by this time, so it's not that bad. But it is early days yet. But yeah, you, as you can see there, that's clearly an assignment assassin rate right, with 191,000. So that's going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.